So the governor has a power that does not get a tremendous amount of attention. It is the power to appoint people to boards that make significant policy decisions. And depending on when the governor makes that appointment, the power could go unchecked by other elected representatives for months. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger explains. We have the privilege of having three new commissioners this morning. The July meeting of the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Commission began with the introduction of three new commissioners. Jess Bullyu, Gary Skiba, and Jack Murphy. Welcome to our commission. Welcome is a bit premature. Even though their names and bios are on the Parks and Wildlife Commission website, Jess Bullyu, Gary Skiba, and Jack Murphy are not exactly official yet, even though they get to vote on Parks and Wildlife issues. The three of them were appointed in July by Democratic Governor Jared Polis. Polis appoints members to almost 300 boards and commissions. Appointees to 100 of these boards require state Senate approval. It's a challenging process that we have. Democratic State Senator Dylan Roberts chaired the Senate committee that was responsible for a yes or no recommendation to the full Senate on the three Parks and Wildlife appointees. He was the swing vote that resulted in Bullyu and Skiba getting unfavorable recommendations. Skiba has since withdrawn his name from consideration. Bullyu could still be approved by the full Senate. They both participated in four meetings since being appointed, but not yet confirmed. But it certainly could um, maybe be improved to make sure that uh, every appointment uh, can't make critical decisions without having their Senate confirmation. State law is on the governor's side. If an appointment is made after the legislative session ends in early May, that appointee can serve until the Senate is back again the next year. It's coming to mind right now. We could have like a confirmation special session every year in October or something to, or November to to clean up all the appointments that have come through since we got done in May. There are only two ways for the legislature to meet after May call themselves back into session with two-thirds support or have the governor call a special session. And I doubt he would call us back to confirm con controversial appointments that he had made. Specific to the Parks and Wildlife Commission, there's a board meeting on Wednesday and Thursday, and a spokesman told me all current commissioners are expected to attend and vote on issues. Presumably that includes Jess Bullyu, who has that unfavorable committee recommendation by a vote of four to three, but has not yet had the full Senate vote yet. So limbo still for one of them who has not pulled back their recommendation or their, their nomination. This is kind of deep nerdy stuff, but there's a, there's a reason why every time those emails come in with the appointments from the governor, the two of us scan through them really quick, looking for people that we know about right. because we know that there's great power that comes with those assignments. Yeah, I've always been like, oh, who's, who, whose name do I recognize and why do they get this specific thing that nobody really pays attention to except for the two of us nerds here? Uh, but the secret apparently is if you do it from May to December, they've got more power than if you do it from January to May because if you do it in January to May, they cannot start Start serving until they are confirmed because the Senate is in action at that point. I'm going to guess the mayor's team knows or the governor's team knows that. All right, Marshall Ellinger, thank you.